Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to look at a way of adding some functionality to the Quick Look uh, in order to view zip files. So at the moment, if I come over to a zip file, press the space bar, um, I get a little bit of information about it. I get the size of it, the date it was modified, and its name, but I can't see into the contents of that file at all. So what we're going to do is uh, this is a zip folder that I've downloaded. Um, below on below the blog is the exact URL that you can download it from. I'm going to open it up, and the bit we're looking for from inside here, just to zoom in so you can see it a bit better, is um, Archive QL Generator. So I'm going to take that out, put that on the desktop. And now this needs to be placed inside Macintosh HD. Okay. Now the file, the folder it goes in is, okay, is on your hard drive, your library folder. And inside your library folder, you've got one for Quick Look, which I've already got mine open up here. And I'm going to take this icon and I'm going to drag it into the Quick Look folder. Okay, let go. And I'm just going to zoom out. Okay, got my icons on very large here so you can see exactly what's going on. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the computer, which will be a lot quicker for you than it will for me. And I'll see you back here in a couple of seconds. So, I've just restarted the computer. Uh, now, if I come over to my zip archive, and highlight it and press the space bar. Now we get a lot more information about it. I'll just zoom in on the screen again. Okay. And so you can see, we can see the entire contents of the zip folder. Uh, we can see the dates that everything was created, the name of everything inside of it, um, what type of document it is. Uh, altogether, far, far more useful function than the archive uh, viewer that we had from Quick Look before. So there we go. And uh, thank you very much. We'll be putting some new content up as soon as possible.